recording. Well, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do a few so that you guys have something to check. So I'll do a few. I, I guess I can do the first few on each side. Let me take care of this one. And um, again, I want to add seven here. Change colors. I'm going to add seven on this side, right? Imagine there's an imaginary line. Negative seven and seven cross each other out. I have x left over. And that's the last sign stays. And 12 minus seven is negative five. So it says negative five is bigger than all these numbers. So I know you have a number line on top, but I'm just going to, because obviously. So negative five, negative four, negative six. So five, negative five, actually negative five would have been here, right? Put a circle, I'm going to put a circle over here on my number line. And negative 5 is greater than what numbers? Numbers on this side or on that side. So pick a number. Um, it's always the easier way. So pick a ridiculously large number. Pick a thousand. Is negative 5 greater than a thousand? It obviously it's not. So where, which side is a thousand on? A thousand on the right side or the left side of, of negative 5? So a thousand is over here on this side. So obviously you can tell the numbers on this side. Uh, because I just tested, will not work. 100 will not work. Negative 5 is not greater than 100, or 10, or 1. So negative 5 is greater than numbers on this side of the number line. And that should have been my answer. <clears throat> uh, 2, negative 1. So again, I want to do plus 1 here, plus 1 here on both sides, right? So negative 1 plus 1 eliminates. I get R oh. left over, greater or equal to, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So R, a number that I know that I don't know is greater than five. So here's my five. I'm gonna shade it because five is part of the solution. So what numbers are greater than five? Numbers on this side, what numbers on that side? So obviously six, seven, eight, nine, ten are greater than five. So we're talking about numbers on this side, and that's my solution. Okay, so if you wanted to do the check, I want to pick any number that's greater than five. So uh, let's pick let's just pick five. So if I substitute, I'm gonna get negative one plus r is greater or equal to four. So if I substitute, I get I'm gonna pick five, right? Let's pick r equals five because it's on, it's allowed. It's part of the solution. And let's see if that makes it true. Negative one plus five is four, and is four greater than or equal to four? Yes, it is. So that works. You could have picked six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever number you could have chosen to substitute. So there's a solve, there's a graph, and there's a check. Mm. Move around. These are one step, all one step. So let me pick number 12. Okay. <clears throat> number 12 I pick because there's a negative. So now this tells me I have to divide that side by negative 9. And I'm going to divide this side by negative 9. Negative 9, negative 9 becomes 1, positive 1, and positive 1 times x is just x. Let me leave the sign for last. Negative 90 divided by negative 9 is so a negative divided by a negative, so I get positive 10. Remember, when we divide by a negative or positive number, we have to reverse that sign to the other side. So x can be any value less than 10. So let me draw my own number line. So let me put a 10 over here, 11, and 9. Uh, shade. And x is a number less than 10, less or equal to 10, so it's going to be 10, 9, 8, and all these numbers over here. To do a check, now you can pick any number that's on the left, right? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, even 0 are negative numbers. So let me pick 0. If I pick the x equals 0 and substitute, here's my original inequality. Or negative 90. If I substitute 0, I get negative 9 times 0 is greater or equal to negative 90. Negative 9 times 0 is 0, and is 0 greater or equal to negative 90? Yes, it is. So I know my word here is correct. Um, again, I'm picking a few here, here and there to do. I'm going to only do, let me do 11. Okay, and again, um, so here I want to multiply both sides. So I have k over 4. I'm going to multiply this side by 4. Multiply this side by 4, right? Because this is the inverse operation of division. So this 4 and this 4 cross it out. I have k left over. Less than negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. So I can use the number line here. Shade or not shade? Not shade. I want numbers that are less. So k, a number I don't know, is less than negative 16. So that obviously is going to be these numbers right here. All the way. Stretch the line. Sure, stretch all the way out. 
So substitute. So go back to your original equation. Let me see. And I had and I k over four less than negative four. So let me pick up negative twenty because that's going to be divisible by four. So negative twenty divided by four is less than negative four. Negative one divided by four is negative five, and is negative five less than negative four? Yes, it is. And that works. So, okay, so you have a few examples. Let me take a couple of two-step inequality examples. And, um, hmm, take this one. Uh, this is, looks interesting. Number five. So number five, um, and because there's a negative, I'm going to rewrite this as negative one b less than two greater than eight. So if I did a story, Here's my variable b, which is being multiplied by negative 1, subtract 2, greater than 8. Going back, I'm going to add 2 and divide both sides by negative 1. So if I take that, and then I guess I'll do it here, 1b as in boy, minus 2, greater than 8. That's not a 16, it's a letter b. First thing I do is plus 2, plus 2. And I'm going to get negative 1b greater than 8 plus 2 is 10. Check. Divide both sides by negative 1. And the reason I want to do that because I was a negative b. So if I divide a negative 1 and negative 1, I get positive b. 10 divided by negative 1 is negative 10. And because I divide both sides by negative, this goes down. So on my number line, I represent that this way. Here's a 0, right? Now 0 is a circle, not shaded. And b has to be less than negative 10, so it's going to be all these numbers that way. Check. So let's do a check. So when you do the check, I want you to pick a number. That's less, obviously, on this side. So pick an easy number. Negative 11 just sounds fine. So instead of b, so I get negative b minus 2 greater than 8. So I'm going to see that b is negative 11. So if I substitute, I get a negative, and then minus, I should say, negative 11 minus 2 is greater than 8. Negative and a negative becomes a positive. So I have 11 minus 2 greater than 8. 11 minus 2 is 9, and 9 is greater than 8. So the trick here was just careful how I substitute. Right? Um, Let's do one with distributed property, number eight. Um, so again, if I distribute this, I'm going to get negative 3r. And then negative times negative is going to be positive 12, greater or equal to zero. If you do your story, you're going to get minus 12 here, minus 12 on this side. And let's do the zero minus 12 is negative 12. These two cross out, negative 3r comes down. I divide both sides by negative 3. Negative divided by negative is a positive r. And negative 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. And that's going to come this way. Remember, we're dividing by negative, so we're switching. So now I'm going to draw my number line. 4, 5, 3, 2, 6. Circle, shade. And what I want numbers R has to be a number, number that is less than 4. What number that's less than 4? It's on this side. That's my graph. Now I want to check to see if that's true. So if I check, my original equation is negative 3 r minus 4 greater or equal to 0. So let's pick again 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 0 is over here. I can pick that number because it's on this side. So I always want to pick the easiest number. So negative 3, and I get 0 minus 4 greater than 0. Let's see if that's true. Negative 3, 0 minus 4 is negative 4 greater or zero, equal to 0. And negative 3 times negative 4, guess what? That's a positive 12, which is greater or equal to 0. So everything works out nicely. Um, do I, is there one with a fraction? Yes, there's one with a fraction. So number 12 over here is a good example. So again, think about clearing the fractions. The other day we wanted to clear, actually, yeah, we want to clear the fractions. So look at the denominators. Right, so let me take that over here. Negative 9 plus a over 15 is greater than 1. So one way of eliminating this fraction over here would be to multiply this by 15. Multiply this by 15, yeah. If I multiply this by 15, this and this will cross out. And I get negative 9 plus a greater than 1 times 15 is 15. Now, look how simple it is. If I make my story, I'm going to have to do plus 9 here, plus 9 over here. a comes down. It's greater or equal to 24. Well, so if I draw a number line, so I can use my 24. So I made you know, a circle, no shade. And a has to be, this number has to be bigger than 24. So these are the numbers that are bigger than 24. On top, so let's pick, let's do a check. Negative 9 plus a over 15 is greater than 1. So let me pick a number. That would help me. Um, I don't want to deal with this fraction. I want to pick number 20, 24. I'm going to pick 24. No, 24. No, no, no. Um, 
I'm going to pick 39. I'm pick a big number. And the reason I'm going to pick 39, look what happens. Negative 9 plus 39. And I can pick 39 because 39 is over here on this side, right? Over 15 greater than 1. So what's on the top? Negative 9 plus 39. There's more positives, right? So it's going to be 30 left over over 15 greater than 1. What's 30 over 15? That's 2. And that's greater than 1. Okay. I think that's enough. I'll do one more. So number nine, um, I can do, again, if you do your story, this one is nice. Like in your story, you have a variable x multiplied by negative 7 plus 7. That's equal to negative 56. You go backwards, you need to do negative 7 and divide by minus 7 and divide by negative 7. So the first thing you want to do is minus 7. You make a line. Minus 7. Cross, cross, negative 7x less or equal to 63, negative 63, yeah? Now I'm going to divide this, so this, I did this, so I'm going to divide by negative 7, and divide by negative 7. Negative 7, negative 7 is 1, and 1 times x is x. Negative 63 minus divided by negative 7 is positive 9. So notice I divide both sides by negative numbers, so I'm going to flip this the other way. My equation, my number line, I should say. So I'll put a 0 on top of the circle, I'll put a circle on top of 9, I shade. And I want to look for numbers that are equal to 9 or greater than 9. Well, 9 is equal to 9, so that's why I shade it. And greater than 9 would be these numbers. Go back to your equation. So let's check for 7 less or equal to negative 6. So let's pick a number. So let's pick 10 because 10 is nice and easy. So negative 7 times 10 plus 7. Negative 10, negative 7, and 10. It's positive, negative, and positive. So it's going to be negative 70 plus 7 is less or equal to 56. Negative 70 plus 70 is negative 63. Is that less than negative 56? Yes, it is. This number may not in these negative numbers. That's uh, the reverse is true. Okay, so I'm not going to do all of them. I mean, just some of these, just set it as examples. Okay.